Right, now for a change of pace, we're going to rebuild the alternator. Um, so I've stripped it all down here, cleaned everything that needs to be cleaned, I've plated a few things that need to be plated, I haven't plated everything that didn't need really to be done. Uh, so now we're going to put it back together. Now, the issue that we had with this uh, is that the bearings were completely gone. Um, they actually don't feel too bad now they're out, but um, we'll just spin, spin forever. Um, in fact, this, yeah, this back one feels pretty nasty. Um, so what we need to do is pop the new bearing in here. So we'll just give this a quick uh, clean. And as you can see, the bearing is a very tight fit in here. So we'll have to press this in. Um, so this is the old bearing just for reference. Um, so I've got the new bearing actually upstairs in the freezer. So I'm going to go and grab that. Let's see if it just slots in. Cool. So that's just slotted in really nicely. We'll just give it a little tap to make sure it's where it needs to be. Brilliant, so I'm happy enough with that. So the retaining plate goes on next. So one of the screws, um, unfortunately the last screw I think it was, strip the head out a little bit um, but hopefully we can fix it with a bit of Loctite. Well, we're only fixing the uh, head but if we can't do it up as tight as we were planning to, hopefully the Loctite will help us out. So this is the one that's stripped so we'll just have to watch that one. We've got no chance of using a uh, cross, so we'll try with a flat. It's a bit difficult to even get a flat in here, but we, we can do it up tight enough. And uh, it's nearly it's it's nearly as tight as the others, so it shouldn't cause a problem. Okay, so this is everything we needed to do to the front half of this. Um, probably what I think we'll do is actually we'll build it in the, the back half and we'll come back to this half. So just for anyone wanting to know, that's the part number for the front bearing. Well, this is what I've used. And the back bearing is not here. Oh uh, yeah, B1050 D. So let's try and get this bearing to the smaller bearing on here. So we'll put the nut on the front of this to help us out a bit. And we need to tap that gently down onto there. I'll try it gently with a mallet first, directly on the bearing, see how much force is required. Okay, a bit more than I want to do. Um, so we use this block here to space it. Okay, it's going. Uh, I'm going to finish this on the floor um, because the desk is not that stable and hopefully we'll lose a little, little less striking force. Perfect. Okay, so we've got our new bearing on. So I think what we'll try and do first is we'll try and assemble these two components together, uh, which is somewhat tricky, but we can do it. So we need to hold back these pins in here while this is slid in. So, so that's that's gone actually really well, better than they normally go. And we'll secure this gasket. So this is now 
sat where it needs to be in here. Now this sits in this rear housing. And now what we can do is add the nuts on which retain the ring. You can add these bolts on as well. It's fine with it. They're not holding anything. These don't need to be anything more than the hand tight. They're in the small. Just remembering how this goes back together. I'll take a look at a picture for that one, but it's some combination of those. Okay, so I've got this portion assembled here. Now we can put the face cover back on. tap this now we'll put this back on like so we'll add this piece just for now and we'll just put this on for a little bit now we can Flip this back over. It's a good idea to tighten these evenly because it will pull itself together as these get tightened down. Perfect, okay. So we've assembled the front half of this. Now we just need to remind ourselves about this. Right, annoyingly, I worked out how to get the little bit of black plastic on. Uh, it should have been on the inside. Uh, so I've just taken this all apart again and put it back together with the right plastic bit on the inside. And this bit of black plastic sits here, the larger bit, and it's double nutted. so. First nuts to hold this on, second nuts to actually hold the post on. So that's on there for now. And then these are little earth points. So we'll just pop the bolts in for now. We'll run them down to clear out the threads. And we'll run them back out again. And these are for the actual mounting bracket, so we can go mount this up. And we'll add our little nut piece to the back side. Okay, so we've got all our bolts in position. We have our lower bolt in. We're not going to do these up. We still want to be able to rotate this. And exactly the same. So this still moves freely and we can get this where we need to get it.
for the sake of installing our belts, we'll just put it here for now. But there you go. For now, we've got our alternator installed.